innovation. So I know a lot of you guys are probably bored at home not knowing what to do because of the coronavirus. So the obvious question is... The obvious question is, what's a fun experiment that you could do that would enrich your mind at home? Well, we're going to be, make, be making conductive and insulated putty. So what that is, is you can make a basic circuit with this putty. So that'd be like you could light up a light bulb. Let's get into it. Before we get into the putty, we have to understand how it works. So there's two materials. A conductor, that's the material inside the wire, and an insulator, that's the material outside of the wire. Some common conductors are copper and aluminum. And they, a conductor allows electricity to flow through the wire. An insulator would be like rubber or plastic, and they do not let electrons flow through a wire. They stop. So we're going to be making a conductor putty and an insulator putty so that we can make a light bulb light up. So a lot of you guys might not have an LED or a motor lying around, but of course here at Finnovation we do. Every good, well-supplied lab does. So what you could use, you could use honestly anything, like a flashlight. Um, we just took this apart, and this little part in here would let us make an LED. So I'll show you how to do that later in the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be making our conductive dough. First, one cup of flour. You're going to do one fourth cup salt. One cup of water. Then I'm going to get my tablespoon and I'm going to do three um, tablespoons cream of tartar. One. Three. One tablespoon vegetable oil. Okay, now before we add the heat, we're gonna whisk it. So that's just gonna mix it all around, and uh, we want it to be pretty thoroughly mixed. Okay, so you're gonna put this over medium heat, and the utensils you wanna use will be um, either a wooden spoon or a rubber scraper. Just something that can reach the bottom of your dish and um, to make sure it's mixing the whole time because this will go from being um, not like a dough at all to being very very doughy and it will be um, it will burn so you want to make sure you're constantly mixing so I'm just gonna keep mixing and wait for the dough to form Okay, so as you guys can see, it is pretty much done. I've got my ball in the center. It's very dough-like. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what it should look like. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of lightly flour this surface, and I am going to, um, so what that means is you just get a little bit of flour, and you just kind of throw it around. Um, so like that should probably be about good. Um, so, now I'm going to just kind of smear it around so that the flour stays and the, and the surface gets kind of nice and floury. So now I'm going to take the dough and drop it right on here. Be very careful when doing this because the dough is hot and you do not want to touch it. Because if it just came off the oven, it is going to be, in the stove, it is going to be really, really hot. And you do not want to be touching a burning piece of dough. Okay, so now we're going to get our um, next half cup flour ready um, that we're going to knead into it once it's cool. So um, you can do this step while you're just waiting for it to cool. So I'm going to get this ready. Um, I'm just going to wait for this to cool and um, then I will, yeah it's still pretty hot. So I'm going to wait for it to cool and then I'll put the half cup flour in. Okay, so now we're, I for, totally forgot about the food coloring. This might not totally mix in there. We were supposed to do it at the beginning. So if you were going to do this, put the food coloring in at the beginning when you're doing the whisking. Um, but I'm going to try, see if this works. I'm going to add um, two or three drops. Um, now I'm going to add my flour. Wow, I think I need a little bit more food coloring too. I'm going to mix this all together. Okay, so um, I continued mixing my dough, and as you see, there is a little bit of purple dye on my hands, but um, I think that's okay. It is all mixed in now. So now what we're going to do is make our insulating dough. Okay, so the first thing you're going to add is one cup of flour. You will need one and a half cup flour total, but just like the last recipe, you're going to need to put this half cup when you're mixing it in, when you're all done. Then what you're gonna do is take 
half a cup of sugar. So once you've added that, you're going to have three tablespoons of oil. So I'm going to pour that right now. One, two, three. Now we're going to mix it. But before I forget, I'm going to add in a couple drops of food coloring because I do not want it to, um, you know, I have to knead it in again. Okay, so while we are waiting and we're mixing this, make sure that you have this in an airtight container. Okay, so now what we're going to do is slowly add a little bit more flour to make sure that it um, hardens up because it is going to be very, very um, liquidy and gooey. So I'm going to start out with just that much. Then I'm going to mix it in, then I'll add more. So I'm going to keep doing this. Oh, wow, and as you guys can see, it already is just like really starting to form into a dough. Okay, so um, now that both of our doughs are made, we are gonna be um, trying to see if this works. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a nine volt battery. Um, or you could use a battery box, but make sure it's putting out nine volts. Um, really an LED should not be going to a nine volt battery, but because our um, uh, uh, conductor is not a perfect conductor, it still has a little bit of resistance in there, um, we're gonna need a bit higher voltage so that when the voltage goes down because of all of the resistance, it'll still work. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a little bit of dough and um, it's gonna need to be like two wires. So I'm just gonna kind of fold them into little circles. I'm gonna poke one in there and one here. And um, you really don't need our conductor yet. Um, the conductor is made for when we're playing around and testing. So I'm gonna see if this, when I poke the two ends of the LED in, it lights up. There you go. As you guys can see, that LED is being lit up. So now what I'm going to do is, um, and as you guys can see, it can also take two LEDs if I burn the part. So there you go. It can take two LEDs and um, it could probably take a mode or two. I haven't tried that yet, but I'm just going to see what I can make that'd be kind of cool. Okay, so um, I'm going to be making a monster. I've decided so I am going to use the insulating dough as our main dough. The conductive dough is just there so that we can run our wires through. And I'm gonna have my LED as the monster's eyes. I think that'd be pretty cool. So I'm just gonna kinda sculpt, and it is kinda just pretty much like Play-Doh. Um, the insulating dough I don't think is quite as good as the conductive dough, but um, we need the insulating dough to be the main sculpting dough because it is insulating. So, as you guys can kind of see what I'm doing, I'm trying to make like a little pinch pot and then that'll be his mouth. So then I will add his eyes. And actually, I think I'm gonna add little arms. I think that'd be cute. So now I'm gonna add his eyes. And how I'm gonna do that is again, you wanna kind of make wires with the um, conductive dough. So like long, kind of narrow tubes, that'll work best. So I am putting one there, and I'll put one here. So now what I'm going to do is um, there's going to be, I think it'll be a one-eyed monster. So I'm going to put the um, LED in there. So, and remember, you can make this as nice as you want, but what you do not want, and I repeat, you do not want um, a the two um, polarities touching each other, the plus and the minus, from the battery should not be touching each other otherwise it will not be a complete circuit and it won't work so i'm going to put the battery in there so there will be a battery kind of sticking out the side but i think that's okay and let's see if the circuit works so let's see if i think i have the wrong oh it works all right so now i'm going to keep working to make it look like a monster Okay, so I just completed this, and as you can see, um, when I plug my battery into the back, it has two little um, wires that are running down, and um, some basic electricity, if you're not familiar with it, um, pot, it goes, so there's two ports, there's the positive and the negative, and electrons flow from the positive port to the negative port. So in order to be a complete circuit, it would go like this. So this is the positive, and this is the negative. Electrons want to flow from positive to negative. So 
Remembering that when I plug in the two wires, I have to make sure if I flip my battery, then my circuit won't work because then they'd be forcing the electrons to go from negative to positive and they don't do that. So just remember positive to negative. And then there we go, our light is lighting up and it looks like a cute little monster. Rah, there's my monster. And you can be creative and do anything you want. You could make a car, a snail, honestly anything. And remember, you could add two LEDs. So if I wanted him to be a two-eyed monster, which I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to plug the, these in right now, but um, you can add more than one LED. You can be really creative and just remember, have fun. Okay, so if you are doing this at home and um, I would not go apart and find some flashlights and just take them apart because if the electricity does go out, you might need them. But how you do this, is you take apart a flashlight. This top little part should have a spring in it and a little um, like screw part in the middle. So what you're gonna do is you're going to take the putty and you're gonna make two wires. The one going to the screw and the one going to the um, spring in the middle. Okay, so you're gonna need two little wires and another chunk of insulator. You're gonna put one on the top, one on the bottom. So it's kind of like a little sandwich. Then what you're going to do is you want to make the one end have little like sharpish um, like wedges and because those will be going to the battery. I mean in like the flashlight and the other one will be going to the battery and that should be kind of flatter ends and make sure that your nine volt battery can touch both ends without touching each other. Then what you're going to do is just put your you're going to put your flashlight there and you're going to test it, see if it works. So I am just gonna play around with this and there you go. As you guys can see, we've got a little flashlight. It's pretty cool and if I take it off, it goes off. If I put it on, it goes on. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so that sums up this video. I really like the way electricity can flow through that putty. Electricity, that reminds me of a joke. Oh no. How many electricians does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know, Finn, how many? A lot. That's actually really funny, Finn. That was funny. I'm impressed. You are learning from your old man. <laughs> Thanks. Whatever. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching. Bye!